What up, yo? What up, man? Second Battle of the LPs episode coming today. Uh, two underground fucking heavyweights. Two albums that I absolutely worship. Two albums that are some of my favorite albums of all time. Period. These albums are a huge part of my teenage years. These motherfucking albums are everything to me. Seriously. These two albums, man. Fucking adore these albums. Today, I am putting up 2000's epic album from Jedi Mind Tricks, Violent by Design. The second record from Jedi Mind Tricks. Versus the street, gully, political masterpiece by nonfiction. The future is now, 2002. Members of Jedi Mind Tricks on this album consist of Vinnie Paz, then known as Icon the Verbal Hologram, Stoop the Enemy of Mankind on production, and motherfucking Just Allah, his first appearance. He was not featured on the first Jedi Mind Tricks album that came out in 1997. I'm the long ass title. I'm gonna call that motherfucker psychosocial, great, grimy, odd, but amazing album. <laughs> you know, uh, I need that on hard copy. I do have Violent by Design on hard copy. The 2004 re release, the deluxe edition, amazing fucking album. And I have the 2002 fucking epic album by Nonfiction, The Future Is Now, on hard copy as well. I had to do this, man. This is like putting motherfucking the infamous up against only built for Cuban links. This it, it is amazing. It, it's fucking incredible. <laughs> Violent by Design is just I'll get to how good it is. But how did I get into Jedi Mind Tricks? I'll go with what album got released first, and you know how oh, you know of the formula to my Battle of the LPs episodes, okay? I got into Violent by Design late to the party. Two years late. Okay? Mind you, no internet at the time. Just moved up the projects, really. When this album came out, I was still in the projects, though. Uh, didn't hear it until 2002. Um, on this radio show, a college radio show that I got over here. 91.1. It was like no radio show I ever heard in my life. Okay. I forgot the name of the station, but I all know it was 91.1 was the dial that you had to get it. And it was college kids. You know, straight backpacker, kind of underground kids. They put on radio shows and they played underground music plus 90s classics and what was going on at the time. Um, And they played it explicitly. This shit was explicit, which was crazy. I don't know how the hell they did it, but this shit was explicit. And this shit blew me the fuck away when I I at one fell swoop. I probably, I'm pretty sure I told this story before. I heard Cage, Necro, Nonfiction, and Jedi Mind Tricks and Immortal Technique all on the same day in 2002. Okay, I enjoyed everything I heard so much that I wrote it down. And the disc jockey was kind enough to give the names of the songs and the motherfucking albums. And I paid attention like a motherfucker. He played several songs from each artist and I was absolutely blown away. The song that he played from Jedi Mind Tricks was Heavenly Divine. I went absolutely nuts. This album was recorded in I think Vinnie Paz or Stoop's bedroom. Okay. <laughs> the album is oh my god. Amazing. 
Just our law joining. That nigga's a beast. He is a beast. Vinny Paz, known as the verbal hologram, then. The album boasts so many fucking amazing tracks. Retaliation. Contra. Death March. Eye Against Eye. Heavenly Divine. Probably my favorite song in the whole album. Probably is. Uh, Blood Rain. One of my other favorite tracks. Blood Runs Cold. Featuring Sean Price. The nigga just all off. Fuck me, man. Has a bar on here that I absolutely adore. You faggots act more gay than RuPaul. You niggas share one milkshake with two straws. <sighs> Fire, son. The whole fucking album. Uh, it's just incredible. Vinny Paz, man. Then known as the Verbal Hologram. Spits poison on this record. Oh my god. This is my favorite Jedi Mind Tricks album. Easily. My favorite Jedi Mind Tricks album. It's just perfect. Not one bad track as well. Um. Vinny, like I said, Vinny's lyrics is incredible. He raps differently on here than he did the first record. He was on some fucking God body shit, it seemed like, you know. He's on some, uh... He's a Muslim and shit, Vinny Paz, you know. Converted to Islam and all that. But, uh... He spit grimy, you know what I mean? Grimy poison all over this fucking record. Just a lot, too. Just a lot one of the nicest niggas out there. That 2011, I think it was. I forgot what year it came out. Uh, violence begets violence. I have a hard copy of it as well. Um, that shit was crazy dope. I don't care what nobody says. I love that fucking album. That album's fire, son. Niggas ain't like it. I fucking loved it, man. You know, I love only shit that much this album I never, I didn't like was uh. It was a 2008 album. I forgot what year it came out. Somewhere around there. History of Violence. I didn't like that at all. At all. I didn't like that album at all. But everything else I fucking love. This is my favorite though. Definitely. Yeah, that on retaliation, Vinny said some nasty shit. He said, little motherfucker got hands like steel. Whoever approached me and what I feel, I find their legs being replaced by steel. So y'all better yield the armor choke faggots. My hand held more razor blades than coke addicts. We like to quote fascists because we meet the meanest. And rip off your fingers with the pot, with the, what do you say, with the pliers of Shakademus. Like the, the nigga Vinny. <sighs> like... <laughs> This whole album is amazing. Favorite track, I said Heavenly Divine. It's an album that I, it could be a top 10 for me. I'm serious. That's how much I love this album. The album cover, amazing. You know, dude from the motherfucking um, World War or some shit. Uh, uh, oh, some overseas war, something like that. Amazing album. Amazing album. Um, guest features on here from Tragedy Gaddafi. Uh, Sean Price, as I said. Esoteric. Uh, Virtuoso. Chief Kamashi. Bahamad D is on here. Um, Louis Logic. Mr. Liff. Killer Shah. Uh, amazing album. It's <laughs> It's amazing. 2000, Jedi Mind Tricks, Violent by Design. Let's go to its motherfucking opponent. 
the 2002 fucking epic album, <laughs> Nonfiction. And what's funny about this is Vinny Paz will form a group called the Heavy Metal Kings with a member of this album of the the non of Nonfiction, and that's Ill Bill. So Nonfiction consists of Ill Bill, Gore-Tex, Sabak Red, and DJ Eclipse. As I said, I discovered nonfiction that whole the same day I discovered all the underground artists I named when I talked about Jedi Montrix. Now, the song I heard from nonfiction was probably the biggest song, Rock Stars, produced by DJ Premier. What a fucking album. What a song, I should say. My bad. What a fucking song. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. The album was released in 2002 on the Uncle Howie Records, Ill Bill's record label. And it... <laughs> an absolute classic. I have the double disc, platinum edition. I don't have the OG. But both are out of print. So, you should you know, be able to get that, hopefully. Um, <sighs> I love this album so much. The production reads out like a like a nomadic would. DJ Premier's on here. Pete Rock, Large Professor, Juju of the Beat Nuts, Necro. Phenomenal, phenomenal album. I can't get enough of this album. It's so gully and the niggas hail from Brooklyn. To that Montrix out of Philly, if I didn't say. Um Nonfiction's from Brooklyn. It is amazing. Uh, Futurama, fire. Drug music, oh my god. Lost Professor, cook that motherfucking beat. The CIA is trying to kill me. Necro, cook that. Necro being the brother of Bill Bill, y'all know that. Uh, if you got love, Pete Rock. Pete Rock, scorch that. Oh my god, this album is so fucking good. Rock Stars of Caution on DJ Premier. Black Helicopters, Necro, one of Necro's greatest beats ever. Suicide Bomb by the Juju from the Beat Nuts. This album is just amazing. MF Doom is on here, he rhymes on here. Oh, uh, God, it's so good. This album is just a, it's a classic, alright? A motherfucking classic. My favorite member of nonfiction is Ill Bill, but <laughs> right behind that nigga is Gore Tex. Gore Tex is nasty. Still is. That nigga, he's, he's Mexican. <laughs> Ill ass MC. He's fucking stupid dope, yo. Favorite track off here? Probably drug music. Oh, it's, it's so fucking good. Lodge Fessa cooked that shit. Amazing album. Classic album. Can't get enough of nonfiction's The Future Is Now album. 2002. Amazing. Beautiful album cover. Now. Time for the moment of truth. Battle them up. Production. Stoop's production on Violent by Design is very dusty and RZA in his prime influence. That's what it sounds like to me. And that production is just fucking incredible. And nonfiction, the future's now production reads out like a who's who of ill producers on the a cunt hair strand. I'll have to go with nonfiction, the future's now for production a strand because production on Violent by Design is superb. <laughs> Tough one, so 
Nonfiction wins that. Lyricism. Golly. Fuck. Man. <sighs> Another tough one. Punchlines for days from everybody. <sighs> tough. 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 <laughs> Gotta go with... I don't know, man. I'll go with Jedi Mind Tricks, Violent by Design. I'll go, yeah, I'll go with that. I'm just thinking about all the punchlines of bar, I'll go with that. By a very small margin, too, because I like Sabak Red, but I don't like him better than Gartex and Bill. You know? So, yeah. But, yeah, Violent by Design for lyrics. Replay value. What am I picking up first is just only As much as I love the futures now, gotta be gotta be his um violence. But violent by design. Gotta be violent by design. Gotta be violent by design. Uh cultural impact, like what the industry and you know hip hop heads look at as the most classic. I would say it's violent by design. I hear that more, but Futures Now is definitely a fucking mega masterpiece to me. I love that album so much. But at the end of the day, I gotta ride with Violent by Design. I, I have to. It's a fucking classic. It can stand toe with some of the 90s best. You know what I mean? It came out in 2000. It could stand toe. It's that fucking good. It's that good. Shout out to Vinnie Paz. Then known as a verbal hologram. Icon of verbal hologram. Stooped enemy of mankind on production and just Allah. Shout out to Philly. Classic. 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 And shout out to Nonfiction and Features Now 2002. Masterpiece. See y'all niggas on the flip side. A battle of the LPs. Hope you enjoyed. Peace out, y'all.